What is going on people? This is 20 tips that you need to know if you're starting out with Procreate. This is going to make your life so much easier, more fun, your workflow quicker, and just make the whole experience more enjoyable. For those of you, uh, for those of you who don't know, I am The Broken Puppet, and I use this channel to teach you how to draw tattoo related things, plus art stuff, Procreate tips, and all kind of crazy things. This is 20 tips for Procreate, so let's jump straight into this. A really simple one, but really effective. Draw a shape, and if you hold it, it's going to go like this. But if you tap with a second finger, it's going to make it that perfect shape. You can do this for things such as circles, triangles, and squares. And if you press down, you get the perfect shapes. Tip two, draw a shape such as an arc, hold it, and once you let go, click up here and click edit. And now you're going to, be able to drag the corners and move this wherever you want to. You can move this, you can bring the top down. It makes it super easy to adjust your lines and shapes. Tip number three, when you have a design like this, click onto your layers, click on the layer, and click reference, the one there, and once it's underneath. Now when you have any layer above it, or anywhere else, when you select the selection tool, with automatic, it's gonna select from within that space. And now, what you can do, you can either do that, or you can just select yourself a color, and now when you color drop, it's gonna go just into those areas making life a lot easier. Tip number four is the rapid fill. So when you click and drop a layer, if you click up here, you can click continue filling. And once you've got that, you can click anywhere now, and it's gonna continue filling those areas. You can also now change color and continue filling. It makes things so much easier when doing this. So in heartbeat, you can literally just go from one. So a whole design pretty much colored in ready for your shading. It's a quick color selector. Now you don't want to use your pen, you want to use your finger. So once your screen's like this, you can literally just hold your finger and it will select that color no matter where you pick. So you can see the color change in a heartbeat. No need to have to sort of go manually down here. You can literally just click and hold on any color and it's going to select it. This is especially good if you're doing realism and stuff like that. Selection threshold. Now if you're doing selection tool and you click on this and when you color it in, you're getting this white edge. It's because your threshold is too low. What you need to do is click the selection threshold and with that on the reference, you're going to click and you're going to drag and you keep dragging to the right and you're going to see selection threshold. Keep dragging this until it's in the high 90s. And now when you color in, it's going to go right to the edge and no white lines. Controlling your rotation. Once you rotate an object like so, and you go for it, when you go select back, your selection tool is really awkward. So now when you want to try and resize it, it makes things really awkward. Even on a freehand tool, it's just like you can't really resize it right. What you're gonna do, once you've got it like this, you've got the little yellow arrow at the bottom, drag this, and it should lock in place. If it doesn't, draw two little lines and it'll lock back where it was. And now when you move, you can do it accurately in the right way that it's supposed to be. Let's use the symmetry tool. So click up on here, click on the wrench, click canvas, and turn on drawing guide. And now click edit drawing guide. On the bottom corner, you're gonna have symmetry here. Click on this, and when you click done now, it's gonna draw on both sides. Just make sure that your layer has assisted drawing on. So click on this and click drawing assist. As long as that's on, no matter what you do now, we'll come on both sides, making things dead easy to do. How to use symmetry tool in more options. So click up on here, click the drawing guide, and now if you click on the options, you have horizontal, vertical, quadrant, radial, and you also have rotational symmetry. If you have it on like radial, for instance, when you draw now, it's gonna draw in all those areas really symmetrical. So if you sort of like, bring a random shape, you're gonna get all this kind of craziness in a cool way. If you click on edit drawing guide and you go options and you click rotational symmetry, all the areas are now gonna move in the same direction. So if I can start going like this, it's gonna move around exactly where you move it in the same direction. So if we're just sketching a bunch of lines just to begin with, let's give you an idea. Two fingers, if you tap, will go backwards. Three fingers will redo. If you hold two fingers, They'll go rapidly back. If you hold three fingers, it will rapidly. It will rapidly do. It will rapidly go back. Doesn't want to work there. Four fingers will go full screen. That's the basic finger motion. Is the basic quick menu tip. So if you get three fingers, just quick swipe down. It's going to bring up this menu. Now, once you're on this menu, you can select anything from here. But if you click and hold on it, it's going to select, and you can select any function on Procreate and it makes it look quicker. So they're having to keep switching colors, brushes, techniques, whatever you want to do, you can put everything you want on this quick menu. So it's literally just 
three fingers swipe down, boom. Random shape like this, and you want to make it into an outline, create a layer underneath it, select white, drag it into it. Now when you've got two layers, mix them together, and once you have this, you're going to click up on here, click curves, you're going to raise this one up, and raise these ones down like this. And it's going to give you the outline. Real easy. Options. So when you have this, say you have layers here and you have stuff across multiple layers, if you swipe to the right, you can group them together. So once you've got them highlighted, click group, and then you can simply shrink this down if you want, and you can move all those layers in one easy motion. It makes it really easy to organize, and you can have groups within groups within groups. You can also, when they're together, like if you pinch, join them together. That's the basic layering options. Easy manipulation. So when you have a design like this, if you click up on here and you click liquify, adjust your sizing to get roughly what you want, and now this allows you to really easily drag areas and manipulate the image. Like you want to create that eye a little bit wider, you can now quite easily drag it and it's going to keep everything quite together. You can also select multiple layers, so if you had your line work, you can select multiple layers and then do it. And that's teeth a little bit longer. And it distorts it, but it doesn't take away from the sharp edge. So liquify tool is a really good one for manipulating the image. 15 is the layering effects. So if you play a curler like this, over the design, and then you click up on it, you have the N. Click on N, it's going to go for a bunch of effects you can put for the design. So if you put it on the top, you have multiply, darken, color burn, all these different kind of ones. And it'll create all kind of crazy effects, so make sure you experiment with these. It's an easy way to add color and modify design in real quick, easy time. Because a few options here people don't realize. If you click up on a color wheel up here and you click harmony, it brings up this. Now normally it'll have complementary color. So if you click here, it will show you the complementary color on the other side. But what people don't realize, is if you click on complementary, you have other options. You can select split complementary, you can click on again, you can click Anoguous, Triadic, and Teradic. And it gives you all the kind of colors match up. It's really good if you want to understand your colors and you're not too sure how to use them. It just shows you here exactly how to do that. Easy color palette. So if you click on color palettes, and you click on palettes down the bottom. If you click plus, create a new palette. And once you have the new palette, come onto the main menu. So click on classic. And now select the color you want, that's about mid-range tone. And we're going to select that in the middle bit. And now what you're going to do, select a slightly darker one and put that below, and a lighter one and put that above. Do this for as many colors as you want. And it's going to make coloring so much easier. So rather than having to keep switching colors, you can just come through here and you're going to have your variations. So your reds, your dark red, your light red. Yellow, you have your yellow, your strong yellow, your light yellow. You can put it straight. It makes your color choices so much easier when you have this the whole way across. So experiment with that. Smooth lines like so. An easy way of doing this is click on any brush you have, click on the brush, come to stabilization. And once you're on here, drag your streamline up and your stabilization up. Find a nice position for that and then make your line work so much easier and so much smoother. It just kind of flow much nicer. 19 is all about the time lapse replay. Now you click on the time lapse replay, click up on here, click video, and you click time lapse replay and it'll show you everything you've done. Now everything you do comes up on here. So if you had like an image or something, it comes up on there. But what you can do, if you click up on here, you click add. When it comes to insert the image, slide to the left and you get a secret option, insert a private photo. Click on that and you can place a photo and that will not appear in your video. So if you have a reference and you don't want a reference stuff to appear there, you can do that and that reference will not appear in your video. Tip number 20, if you learn how to draw tattoo related things and get really good at it really easy, then check out my Procreate sets with Tattoo Space. I have my how to old school, my how to traditional, neo traditional, as well as a bunch of other ones. That's 150 brushes as well as the ebook, and that's 50 tutorials, the designs, and the render designs as well. You also have the color versions in the ebook as well. So, everything you need to know on there to really help you guys out, give you guys a really great start to your Procreate career. But for now, people, I hope that has helped. I'm going to do many of the uh, tips and tricks. So, if there's anything you want to know, or anything else, make sure you subscribe, put in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do, people. But for now, I'm the Broken Puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace.